Going in. Last one, awesome jab. Awesome James in. They're all set for the $5 million Breeders' Cup Classic. Steals. James on their way in the Breeders' Cup Classic to the roar of the Santa Anita crowd. Regal Ransom bounced away. Pitty Zenyatta is dead last. Zenyatta's dead last early. It's Regal Ransom going on. Gio Ponte. Einstein is right there. Colonel John in the white colors. Summerbird has the red cap in the vanguard too. Rip Van Winkle is on the outside and twice over. Racing right behind them. They tightly group. They're not in the big hurry out of the lead. Then it's awesome Jim. Gio Ponte's back fourth last. Been followed then by Richard's kid. Then comes my Matt Bird. And Zenyatta is dead last. Zenyatta last. Got to be giving them about 10, 11 length start. They broke the three-quarter pole now in the Classic, and it's Regal Ransom just setting a sensible pace. Not in a big hurry out here. Rip Van Winkle now goes up second, and Colonel John scrapes the paint in third. Einstein's right there, too. Girolamo, white cap, far side. Here's Ken DeSormo and Summerbird. They six at the rail, just five off the leader. Then it comes twice over. Awesome German Gio Ponti's giving them seven lane start. Then it's Richard's kid. Now here's Zenyatta. Zenyatta is still a good 10 11 off the leaders. And then it's four back to mine that bird. A half mile to go now in the classic, and still the leader is Regal Ransom, a length and a half. Rip Van Winkle being sent along after him. Then Colonel John on the far side, Girolamo. Einstein is right there. Summerbird at the rail. Twice over is next. Then Awesome Jim. Gio Ponti's behind that. Then Richard's kid. And now here's Zenyatta. And let's see. Zenyatta has a lot, a lot of ground to make up. Zenyatta is she and this will be a super horse. She's starting to pick them off though. Zenyatta going to hook to the outside. Meanwhile, it's Colonel John. Summerbird in the red cap. Look out. Zenyatta is coming and cross the wire this crowd has not stopped applauding for the champion they came to see at the great race place Santa Anita they've seen some phenomenal ones the immortal sea biscuit a resurrection of his career and this grandstand has not shaken like this for a very long time you've witnessed one of the singular great moments in Breeders' Cup World Championship history. Zenyatta, 14 for 14, undefeated, and the only female racehorse to win the Breeders' Cup Classic. What a tremendous performance by Zenyatta, and Mike Smith, fantastic ride. She was very slow out of the gate. She was away slow because of the delay, and Mike Smith dead last now in the replay, and everybody expecting him to take the Overland route. He didn't. He went to the inside here. He's looking up. He could see that he was going to be parked six, seven, eight wide. He takes the inside today, and yeah, you could see she was going to put in a panted late run. Now he needs to find a seam, and once he gets that seam outside of Summerbird and inside of Twice Over, outside of Twice Over, here she comes and looks like the other 13 races that she'd been running to date. I'm done. I can't even speak. That was unbelievably breathtaking. At the back of, in the back stretch, I could not believe. I thought she was going to have too much to do passing these type of horses and to win like that. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Horse of the year. I'm telling you, you it, I can't even talk right now. No, the debate absolutely has to begin. It's official. And I'm not just talking about the prices. I'm talking about Zenyatta. She's one of the all time great horses, male or female that American racing and now the world has seen.
Zenyatta will return to a grandstand that is going to be frenzied, and Mike Smith is going to return to Planets. Congrats, well Mike. Done. Mike Smith comes by our stage, looks over at his good friend Paul Laduca, and looks to the heavens as well. I'm sure there's some that Mike Smith wish could be here, but have gone into another life. But Mike Smith has so many supporters that have brought him to many great horses, and now the greatest horse of all, Zenyatta. You know, he took a lot of heat for his ride at Domar. A lot of people said he goes too wide with this horse, and there you see her right behind, <laughs> behind us. We're waving at her. And, uh, you know, he took a lot of heat for his ride at Del Mar, but he told me this horse does not like that track as much as Santa Anita. We're going to get to the bottom of her today, and he was 100% right. She was much the best. Uh, Kurt Hoover was asking this before, and, and let's put it out there. I don't have a vote in the Eclipse Awards. Simon Bray doesn't, Paul LaDuca doesn't, Matt Carruthers doesn't. I'm not sure about Kurt Hoover. I do not either. He, he, okay, all right. You're absolutely right. I was one of those guys, if I was voting, I look at what happened with Rachel Alexander throughout the year, a campaign we haven't seen, but I'm just asking any Eclipse Award voter with an earshot right now, you have to sit down and think about this. This cannot be in the bag for Rachel Alexandra. Zenyatta has made an even better case than I could have ever imagined. And Todd, a couple things about that I agree wholeheartedly with you. And maybe one of these days we'll get a vote, one of us, since we see so few races every year. Uh, a brilliant <laughs> ride by Mike Smith. I wanted to echo what Simon said. A brilliant ride. And Todd, if I did have a vote, and this is not a, a, a you know, just because it's the moment, I had this thought going in, if she does this, I would vote for her for Horse of the Year. You cannot have a more impressive performance. And guys, let's factor in everything that went into it. A delay at the gate, a horse being scratched, reluctant loading, uh, you know, not a picture-perfect pace scenario, weaving her way through traffic. Uh, that's why we're in this game, guys, to see things like that. And it's one of the greatest moments I've ever seen in racing. The raising. thing that strikes me is she's 14 for 14. I would say that half of those 14 races, say 7 to 14, to me she's looked like she had absolutely no chance yes. of winning at a 3 16 full, and each and every time she finds a way to get the job done. And I think, guys, that's the mark of a champion. No excuses, not having to carry racetracks, chip the round, just win. And, uh... Boy, well, I, she I, had no business winning that race. No three six six four. But I think, you know, Simon, you made a good point. When Mike decided to go inside, that was a great move to go inside and get away from some of those horses that were falling apart. Let's see the crowd still. You know, there's another effect here, and it can't be overstated, as Mr. and Mrs. Moss go out to greet their great champion how many race fans were created on this day we talk about so many ways to market this sport but at the end of the day it comes down to one simple factor the thoroughbred racehorse zinata is the embodiment of why we are all attracted to this game hunters and sports fans alike how many children who are here today will say that they are a fan of racing because of that one moment, Zenyatta winning the Classic. They applaud her now. They will applaud her years from now. Darley certainly has to be happy with their sire Street Cry because in a week, he accounts for the Melbourne Cup and the Breeders' Cup Classic. That's exactly right. And the Kentucky Derby winner in street sense a couple of years ago. There's John Sheriff. What a weekend for him. He is taking both Classic Raiders races in the latest division and now here with Zenyatta. And, I mean, just a tremendous ride from Mike Smith. I, I, I just can't get over the performance he put up yeah, there. Yeah, he took a little bit of a gamble going inside on that far turn, uh, Todd. We were talking about it. He's going to go overland. He made the right move by going inside to outside. And she just exploded. She almost got stopped, too, and had to re reel out again. In our heart of hearts, guys, let's be honest. When she passed the grandstand for the first time, and she's kind of, she went had like an awkward action, like, how is she going to pull this off? Yeah, but I think that's just her physical nature. She's so big, not cumbersome, but she just takes a while to get into a strike. It's like four or five furlongs and get going. Exactly, right? and I've always said this. She wants, mile, she's wanted this mile and a quarter distance since she was a three year old. Yeah. She could run all day long. And, and Todd, to kind of expound upon your point, just a little bit more. It's about the star, and by the only way we have stars in this game is to keep horses in training. Yeah. And so, Mr. and Mrs. Moss, you know, huge props for bringing her back as a five-year-old when they could have retired her after a four-year-old campaign. Yeah, nobody would have questioned that whatsoever. No. That's what usually happens if a champion there like this. And Todd, I think you hit on, on something really important. I was thinking about that when you were saying that. 
This is what creates fans. Horses like this, moments like this, brilliant performances by both human athlete and the horse. And, Paul, I think you touched on the turn there. I don't know who it was. Somebody stopped badly when Mike was starting his run, and he almost ran into the horse that stopped, and he kind of cut to the inside. A brilliant performance by Mike Smith. I don't know if I've seen many...